Hello and welcome to my craft room. This is Angie with TheCountrySheetCottage.net and we're here today with another great craft video. So let's get started making our project for today. To transfer your photo to a canvas, you'll need your photos, a canvas, some pliers, a screwdriver, some stain, a staple gun, as well as some kind of iron-on transfer. Here I'm using t-shirt transfers, but you can also use printable heat transfer vinyl, and I'll link to all of this in the description below. The first thing you want to do is turn your canvas over and remove all of the staples from the back. Here I'm using a screwdriver to get under those, and then some pliers to pull them out. Once you have all of the staples out all the way around, you can remove the frame from the inside of the canvas. So we're going to be staining this frame and using this as like a framed picture on top of our canvas. So here I'm using some gel stain and just staining the entire frame one color. You want to stain the entire top as well as the sides inside and outside with your stain. Brush on a generous amount. Allow it to dry just a couple of minutes, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then use an old rag and get all of that excess off. Then we're going to set that entire frame aside to dry completely. While your frame is drying, you can work on the picture portion of your craft project. So here I have the canvas portion that I took off of the frame. And now I'm going to put my t-shirt transfer face down onto the canvas. Now I printed these mirrored. That's important when working with any type of iron-on is that you mirror your design so that it's the right way once we're done with this project. And then you want to follow all instructions that come with the product you're using. Mine said to use an iron and to go in both directions. You could use printable HTV and use an easy press or something like that. I, I'll, I also have a video on using printable HTV and I'll leave that in the description below. But iron-on transfers definitely work for this project. And if you'll notice, I am transferring to the cream side of my canvas because I wanted a slightly more rustic look. You could also do the same project on the white side. And then, once you're finished ironing and have followed all the directions, you can start peeling back your backing, and you'll notice that your photo is staying on the canvas. And you just want to slowly peel that back, making sure it's stuck and adhered to your canvas. And once you've peeled it back, your canvas portion is ready for your frame. If the frame is dry, you can start putting that on. So what I like to do is center the canvas on my picture where I want it, and then start adding staples to the back. Now you want to make sure with each staple that your print is where you want it. Don't worry about the excess yet, we'll get that in just a minute. We need to add a few staples first. What I like to do first is add staples on like basically all four corners in the center. So the center at the top, the center at the bottom, and then we're going to do the center of both sides. And we're pulling this tight as we're stapling to make sure that the canvas is tight against the frame. And then we're also going to add one staple in each corner at this point before we cut away that excess canvas. So we're also going to use a craft knife to cut away the excess canvas off of the sides. So you'll do that after you add the staples in all four sides as well as all four corners. Then get your craft knife and start trimming away that excess canvas. And you just want to start cutting on that and slowly cutting where the frame is slightly exposed on the back. Now these cuts don't have to be perfect. This is the back and won't be shown at all. So we'll continue around all four sides and then once we have all of our excess trimmed you can see that our canvas print is looking pretty good. But you do want to add a few more staples to make sure that's secure. So I like to add several more to each side and just repeat that for all four sides. And then your canvas print is actually ready to go. You have successfully transferred a photo to a canvas and it is ready to hang in your home. So just put that up and enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you will make the project that you saw today. If you loved this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You'll also want to head over on over to our YouTube channel as we have tons of creative videos that you might love using a Cricut machine and other crafty videos as well. You'll want to subscribe while you're there so you don't miss any of our new videos. You can also ask any questions that you have about anything we've covered today in the comment section below and we will get to those as soon as we can because we love comments. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.